What would you do if the lights went out within the next hour? It's a big question that I think some people out there avoid because they feel it's just not going to happen or they just want to ignore it. Now, you could say that for a lot of things out there, but some people are wise and know that if they're in a certain area that is prone for certain things, that they should have a plan for such an event. Just like if you live in an earthquake-prone area, you would want to have a plan for an earthquake. Same with a tornado, a floodplain. They all have a plan that needs to be initiated if certain things go into motion. The same could be said for a lights-out situation. We've talked about this over and over again. For good reason. It's in my belief, lights-out situation is going to be what brings this country to its knees. How it happens? Yet to be seen, but we know that it could be done by man or it could be caused by the sun. So when I see stories that are being broke and put out talking about the potential of a lights-out situation, I like to capitalize on that by reminding folks that you need a plan. Severely. This isn't something to put on the back burner. This is a plan that you need to be working on weekly. You need to be thinking about it. You need to really be planning on it and be putting things aside that are going to be needed for such an event. Now, I know many people out there that live daily with this in mind. Now, I know we don't have all the supplies and things that we want to secure our homes and our families for such an event, but it's something you have to work work on over time and to slowly build up, whether it's working toward getting a generator, uh, solar panels, water purification, things of that nature. It's a start, and every little bit counts. And see, we are in a phase right now with the sun in what they would want to call the beginning of a solar minimum where there's very, very little sunspot activity, although you will see coronal holes open up like we're seeing right now, and this allows a lot of wind and particles to come out of the sun toward the earth, and then it hits the earth and creates these geomagnetic storms, which can also create beautiful auroras. And it could also black everything out and fry circuit boards across the country, and not just here in America, globally. This most recent piece has been put out, focused toward the UK, and asking what is the UK doing to prepare for this? They say that a lot of their livelihood is based on satellites, and that if something like this was to come through, it could knock out their satellites and really cripple them. So they're talking about putting satellites up that specifically are monitoring the sun, and that if any flare or solar wind or anything is ejected heading toward the Earth, they can pick it up rather quickly. And then I guess, then what are you going to do? You can't start trying to draw up a plan at that point. You have to have one that you can implement and put into motion to make things happen. I say it all the time, having a plan for such an event is critical. I could talk for hours on this subject alone, and I really think that in this area, we need to put our minds together and come up with backup plans, big-time backup plans of areas to be able to go to, things to be able to do, just to be able to survive in this type of an atmosphere. This is one of the main reasons and one of the big topics we're going to be discussing at the first ever Underground World News Knowledge Conference. It's going to happen March 30th in the Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky area. If you guys want to be a part of it, Hit me up, dabu7yahoo.com. Only five tickets left. Can't wait for this event. Can't wait to meet some of you guys there. Much love, y'all.